Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks, and I just did a video on how to find a dog or dog silhouettes from DA Fonts, and then I'm thinking, you know, if you can't find that dog, just type in, go to Google and type in dog silhouette black and white, and pick one that's got some good size to it, and I mean when you click on it, this one's only 576 by 564, or this one's 1000 by 890. And then you can right click on it and copy the image and go into Corel and with your pick tool, paste it. And there's that image. Now I'm going to get everything else off the screen. So this is a pretty big file, but it is pixelized. But this type of thing will work. Let's see, um, we're only three by four inches or three by three and a half. So let's go to bitmap, resample. You see it's only $72 per inch. Let's make it 300. Then let's go to bitmap and convert it to a bitmap and convert it to black and white. Then go to trace bitmap. Yours is probably underneath trace, outline trace, clip art. Reduce bitmap. This will take just a second. This is 19. It doesn't have a scroll bar. It's got a percentage progress. It's done. Your new image should be on top. And you can see how much blacker it is. And let's see how clean it is. It's pretty good. It's got a little bit of problem right there, but that could be cleaned up. So on the tail is from the picture itself. So we're going to bring in the yellow box trick, put it to the back of the page, which is arrange and order back of page. And we're going to click on our item and we're going to go up to a range and we're going to ungroup it. And we're going to hit the white and we're going to delete the white. Now this doesn't have any interior, so it's working pretty well. But our black dog is still there. I'm going to left click, right click, and you can clean up these, smooth it and, and get rid of these unwanted nodes. Just select them and hit delete. Let's see, it was on his nose. See, he's got a little square part of his nose, and that's from the picture itself. Now, if you ha it's still got a lot of nodes, and there's two ways to do this. I was just kind of looking. What I would do is select the whole thing and go up right here to your reduce nodes and type in 20. It reduced it. Now there's only 28 nodes. Let's back up. There were 369 nodes. Now, it might sometimes deform your shape, but in this case, it did a little bit on his head. So let's back up here. Let's select it. Select it all. Let's only reduce it 10. That looks a lot better. It's still, it's got 40 nodes. No big deal. Now, if you have, we're going to back up. If you have 18 or above, you can use the smoothing tool. And let's zoom in here. It's worth the upgrade to get to 18, or if you're going to upgrade, you might as well go 19. We're going to make our brush a half of an inch. Whoop. 0.5. And I'm just going to click on my item and start smoothing them out. And you can see how it kind of changed his tail and just kind of lightly go over the whole thing. And he's going to be a lot smoother. There's still a lot of nodes on his back. Let's get the smoothing tool again. Make sure you click on that line and you're going to get a, a red of a lot of these nodes on his back. Now, if you don't like, I think he looks good. But if you don't like his tail, regardless of what version you have, you can use the shape tool and just start deleting nodes or adding nodes and contouring the nodes. And, you know, you can do anything you want to with it. Anyway, and then you take it and let's smart fill it with black. And there you have a vector silhouette of a dog. Regardless if you want to cut it out or engrave it. I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.